He's being recognized for partnering with borough residents in the battle to beat back COVID-19 infection rates. This as borough officials announce City Island as a new hotspot with an infection rate of 8%, the highest borough-wide. City Island is unique from many other neighborhoods. It has one bridge in, it has one supermarket, one gas station, one pharmacy, one school, meaning that you can't even avoid contacting your neighbors. And that's the exposure rate and how quickly it could spread. With the city experiencing an overall surge in infection rates not seen since March, when the outbreak occurred, Dr. Samir Sagal, who contracted COVID-19 himself around this time and has since recovered, has been in action, opening additional clinics in health deserts around the Bronx. With this COVID crisis, the SN team uh, has really jumped in and I could not be more prouder more thankful for the work they are doing. He's also made available three mobile units offering free COVID-19 tests throughout the week and stationing them in high-risk neighborhoods. And now with this new critical spike on City Island, Council Member Jonai says residents can now get tested for COVID-19 from 10 to 5 on Friday, December 11th at Hawkins Park, located at 285 City Island Avenue. And on December 14th, the community can come out to receive an antibody test at at the same location. If you need something, we're there for you. We'll be doing a food distribution, hand sanitizer, mass giveaway, as well as the testing. For more information, you can call New York City Council Member Mark Jonai's office at 718-931-1721, or you can go to mgjonai at council.nyc.gov. As much as you would like the vaccine to be here sooner, uh, we still have to exercise precautions and wait and uh, protect ourselves, our families, and our neighbors. We'll be doing a food distribution, hand sanitizer, mass giveaway, as well as the testing. And in addition to the work that he's doing, we're actually looking going block by block. Even as the vaccines are here, they're reminding everyone to continue to abide by the CDC guidelines, and that is to social distance, to wear a mask, and to use hand sanitizer. On Williamsbridge Road, Arlene Makoko for BronxNet.